This was Doug and Tina Tarr in 1985, and here they are again, exactly 30 years later. Many years have gone by between these photos, too. They were all taken in Peterborough in Britain. The people in both pictures are the same, they've just changed a bit. The pictures are from the photo book Reunions by Chris Pors. In the 1980s, he spent a lot of time pursuing his passion, photography. I wandered around the streets of Peterborough, just snapping away. Um, and then that just lasted for about four or five years. Uh, and I, I got busy with family and career as a paramedic. And uh, they literally gathered dust. I didn't look at them particularly well. They got scratched. They filed away in shoe boxes. Um, and it must have been nearly a quarter of a century before um, I fished them out again. Horace wondered what had become of the people from back then. 30 years ago, he didn't set out with specific motifs in mind. He let the moment inspire him. He didn't know the names or telephone numbers of the people he photographed, so it was quite a challenge to find them again now. He got some help when the local newspaper published the old photos and asked where the subjects were. People recognized themselves and contacted Chris. Ultimately, he was able to reenact 134 photos. For example, the one of these school friends. Sandra Williams discovered it on Facebook in 2016. I can't remember the first one, but the second one, it, it's really good because I've met my best friend that I hadn't seen for like 40 years, so I've met up with her again. So it's lovely. I never thought I'd actually find you again. I, I thought that picture would be impossible to recreate, but we, we, we did it. Hard work. Hi. Sometimes it was sheer chance that helped the photographer in his search, like with Trudy and Dave Talbot. In 2010, Trudy Talbot recognized her image in a photo calendar Chris Porce had created. The picture was from 1980 with her husband Dave on her 21st birthday. We didn't know it existed until we saw the calendar. And then it was a big surprise to see ourselves, well, myself in the picture. And then when I went home and told Dave about it, he was very emotional. To see ourselves back then, how young we were, and now we've got three children and four grandchildren. Yeah. Only the dog is a different one. For many people, the early 1980s are synonymous with wild times and fads. For many people, being part of the rockabilly or skinhead scene was just a youthful phase. Others have remained true to the style they developed back then. This punk rock musician still wears the same leather jacket he wore in 1981. But some things have changed, even for him. Okay. okay, stop there. I was 15 years old, and I was playing in a punk rock band called The Destructors, and I had no money. I could only afford my bus fare into town and to buy new electric guitar strings. He took the photograph when I was going to rehearse with the band. They were special times, and I'm glad that someone was noticing that it was happening. Today, 134 photos of groups of people show how time has passed. With his unique decade-spanning project, Chris Porce captured his hometown's development. His book has moved people all over the world. The pictures display the poetry of everyday life and the life stories of ordinary people. And they brought old friends back together. I never dreamed that I would uh, find any of these people, but to get 134 sets, um, it was really fantastic uh, to see them again after all those years. They were, they were complete strangers, r random. I had no contact details whatsoever. And when I met them again, it was they, were, it was fantastic. There was hugs, quite emotional, uh, handshakes and kisses, and uh, really wonderful to see them. And they're now good friends of mine. Working on the book has rekindled Chris Porce's passion for photography. Now he takes to the streets in search of images again. And as in the early 1980s, he still takes inspiration from chance encounters.